So this is the grist mill. It's a separate part. It's the Plymouth Plantation, the grist mill, and the Mayflower. Mm -hmm. We'll see what this is about here. Ooh. Hey, the family tavern. Where do you go in at? Over there? Gillis Family Tavern. That's like oh, a so it's entrance. Oh, is that a... Wait, is that food? No, that's for the tavern. I know, that's food, right? Raw banter tavern. Oh. That's the grist mill down Maybe there. Maybe we'll eat there. Or is that just like a snack shop? This is cool. Is this... This was real? Yeah. Ticket on lower level. Is this where we go in though? No, enter here if you have a ticket. I have a ticket. Get your ticket out. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. So, so you can take many pictures as you want. Sure. Usually you can't get the commission on the museum to take pictures. Okay. Oh, okay. So, John Jenny was a separatist. He came over in 1623 on the old James. And his community were separatists. That means they wanted to separate from That's the Church okay. of England. They had their own practice of religion. So, if you came in, I'll be starting at the end. Hmm. Go open it. Oh, down there. I guess you have to come over on a Saturday to watch them do it. We have two gears that are like, you know, connected or sitting next to each other. And all we ought to do is if we just put pins inside these holes here um, at the end of this gear inside here, we'll be directly connected to the axle. Uh, so think of what you see on that wheel and that rate of turning, you're going to see turn, that same rate turning the face gear. If you, um, if you count it and we put a minute timer. We'll do something along the lines of 12, uh, maybe a little bit slower now because we don't have the gates fully open. But we can ideally, when we're grinding, that wheel's going to turn 12 revolutions per minute. So then the, this face care wheel. Um, and I'm just going to go turn this slowly just so we can see how this works. Right, face gear is turning, and look what the face gear is doing. The teeth on the face gear are hitting against the lantern gear. That lantern gear is turning faster than the face gear does because it is covering less diameter and it's also getting hit by five teeth for every one of those pinions coming up. So if this is going 12 revolutions per minute, multiply by five, that lantern gear turning laterally is turning 60 revolutions per minute making this motion. When it does that motion, it's turning a spindle, and that spindle that's turning is eventually turning the gear yeah. yeah. uh, yeah. uh, yeah. uh, And for people who like or real you know, uh, kids stuff? Huh? Uh, oh, cool. That's why whenever somebody asks them, it's going to grab it. Looking outside, look at it. Oh, look at that, yeah. Good. Uh, see? Hello. Oh yeah, you can go out there. Mm. We'll go this, is there, we go out right here? Let's go out this way. Oh. What's that for? I wonder. You can get the flower. I oh, maybe on the day that they grind it? Ooh. That's a gift shop. They got some mills. Mm. That'd be interesting. Yeah, most people don't. So do we get out through there? Yeah. Oh, let's see. What do they have here? And we got some flour you can buy. I grind my own. I have corn too. Mm. They have some cornmeal. 
Your meal tastes so good, but you fall in one piece. I may have the bag Remember I ordered that uh, bloody... Sunset corn, Wisconsin oh, yeah. white birch popcorn. Remember I ordered that bloody meal or something from that grain place and it, I make cornbread with it and it's got colors in it. Mm -hmm. It looks kind of like this, but it's got red in it. Mm. I actually have all this. I literally have all these. How much is this? Does it say? It's polenta. We have dilly herb dip and this five onion dip. We got more of that pottery over there. Oh yeah. Let's go outside. Cool. It's like it's raining. Can we open it? walk back and get my sweater. It might get cold later as we're walking around. That's cool. And a functioning water mill. Yeah, very neat. They must grease it with something. Huh? They must grease it right there to the... What? To where it spins. Yeah. It looks like it's greased up with something. It probably is. Regular okay. grease. Yeah. <laughs> Today's grease. Yeah. It works better. This is the other side of the mill where the river comes out. Pretty. Now we're going to walk to the Mayflower and the Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock. The famous the rock. Rain. More jewelweed. Look at it all. Yeah. We went searching all over for it, and there it is. More. I guess it's in abundance. We can get it anywhere. Are we going the right way? I don't know. I wonder if anyone gets in here and plays in here in the summer. I don't know. It looks slimy. Yeah, it does. It's pretty clear though. I see civilization. running down. Oh, this is cool. That's pretty clear. Look at all the bugs, though. Yeah. Is that all draining from the road? 
hope this the right way. Whoa, look at all that. It's an abundance. If anybody's wondering, Joel Reed helped get rid of the oils from poison oak and poison ivy. You can put it in soaps and salves. That's what I'm going to do with it. This is cool. I've never done this before. Yeah. Look at the holes. Looks like sinkholes, huh? Looks like we're heading towards the water. Yeah. I mean, it looks like a good trail. <laughs> Very pretty. Not too busy today, huh? Nope. That's nice. Are we closer? Let me check. We're further away. No, we're closer. We're closer. Right? Just keep walking. Just keep walking. So when we get to the end, I think we want to make our way left. Wherever. Somewhere. So if we got, like, we could go this way and then cross or that way. You cross over and then you see the water and then you follow it left. Oh, past these gardens. This is really pretty. Yeah. There's a statue up there. Look at all the flowers and stuff. Do you want to go see the statue? Beautiful gardens. Hmm. Maybe it's Miles Standish. <laughs> you want to see it? Okay. Hmm. Somebody. It's an English woman. Who? English women. Whose courage, fortitude, and devotion brought a new nation into being. This statue of the Pilgrim Maiden is dedicated. Hmm. It's the Pilgrim Maiden. Your ancestors. Mm -hmm. They were the brave ones. Oh, that. I always like the rainy, drizzly days as long as it's not too cold. Yeah. Well, and as long as it's not pouring. The weather app said it wasn't going to rain that much. It lied. But oh, it's just going to rain this morning and then be cloudy the rest of the day. Cloudy with a 99% chance of rain. Drizzle. <laughs> That's alright. These are nice days. At least it's not boiling hot. Yeah. Think positive. It's this one. Huh. Oh, somebody stole the plaque off there. It says, Oh, the Im immigrant settlers of Plymouth. <laughs> all right. That would be all of them, right? Hmm. Weren't all of them immigrants? Everybody's an immigrant, but Indian, right? I guess. We have a name immigrated here from 
across the Bering Strait. Didn't they come from the Aztecs? That's what I thought I heard on a... Well, even the time. Aztecs and the Incas... They came from Spain? No. <laughs> and they, they, all of them came across the Bering Strait from Russia and oh. from Alaska and worked their way down. Oh, really? Or they went across the Pacific, Pacific Islanders kept exploring, island hopping. Hmm. You see that um, building up there with the structures up there? Yeah. That's the Plymouth Rock. Should we cross here? We can. Oh. Thank you. There's a restaurant over there. Yeah. Look at the boats up on the one way to soar it. There's some big boats. Pretty. I'm pretty sure their village was probably a lot closer. Yeah. Restaurant and bar. Surfside Smokehouse. There it is. The boats. Mayflower. Ooh. I would not cross the ocean in that. That's like it was there. smaller than the ark. <laughs> yeah. Well, they didn't have a choice because I think there's a story about that I read Michael? once. Oh, yeah. 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 Story? There's a story that I read once that they had a different ship that they had that they was going to bring them across. But I think the ship sank. Something happened to that ship and they ended up getting on the Mayflower. Yeah. I read that one somewhere. There's a boat going out. Mm -hmm. They got pirate flags. Cool. Do you think when they they landed at the rock, do you think all this was sand? Yeah. Like a beach, not really. rocky? It's really... And that was the one rock on the beach? Really both. Oh, and that they, they anchored out there and then had little boats come? Yeah. Oh, like the one next to it? Uh -huh. <laughs> it was only the men. The dinghy. women had to stay on the ship. We'll wait here and hope you return. Hope you found land, because I'm getting real tired of this ship. We're all going to die. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs> I'm going to swim to shore if I have to. You ready for the big reveal? The big reveal. The Plymouth Stone. It's the Plymouth uh, Rock. The Plymouth Rock. Did you know the answer to that lady who was talking about the first Indian that they came up to? No, I forgot. Squanto. Squanto. Me and the kids read a whole thing about that. It was cool. I knew that you knew because you were saying. Yeah, Squanto. That's a really good book. He was super good. Interesting book. It was good. So who was more famous, Pocahontas or Squanto? Well, I would say Pocahontas only because of the movie, the Disney movie. Yeah. But Squanto should be more famous. There it is. There it is, what we've come to see. 1820? 1620. That'll be six. 1620. Yeah. But how did they know it was this rock? If they only have, like, was it written about? I don't know. Like, they put a marker on it that it was this rock? Maybe because it had that indentation? 
What is that? Like it was. It was like it cracked and they fused it back oh. together. I wonder how they knew. Or if they just put this here and said, yeah, that's the rock. Yeah. And then put a big building around it. Yeah. I wonder if we could look it up and see how they knew that. Plymouth Rock. Yeah, I must have done this with you. I remember them coming here. Yeah. yeah. The boat first or the uh, fish shop? Boat. Might close soon, huh? Yeah. How long did it take them to cross? Like usually three months, isn't it? Is it? Three or four months. I think there was a story where a, um, one of the women gave birth. I forget, they named it. I don't know. There was an interesting story about that. The woman that gave birth and the baby lived. Can you imagine but, going on a cruise like that at eight and a half months pregnant? That was no cruise. <laughs> yeah. So show them your ticket. Yeah. It's hmm. making all that noise. Get to the ship. Yeah. Main course. Mm. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> we may not make it. I think I would have felt more secure on the ark. Mm -hmm. Up there. We recommend starting below deck first. Hold on. Watch your steps. Sometimes we get away. Is this the bottom? <laughs> Do we go down more? Uh, no, or is this, this is, is it? it. Okay. Uh, oh. doesn't let us get, let you go down any further. That's below the water line. Yeah. But that's just where they would keep their stuff anyway, so there's nothing too exciting down here. No. All the people, all their animals would be on the deck that you're, you're standing Wow. On. That's not much. It was like paint thinner. Yeah, yeah what is that? It was like paint thinner. Uh, it's pine tar. Oh. oh. This is awesome. Everybody was here on this deck. Got the pregnant. There's a feeling. Oh, is it above our head? That's what we're smelling? Yeah. Thirty-three men on. Well, at least we got some cannons. There's a duck. <laughs> oh. It's gonna come in your window. Right. Okay, there it is. So the animals and the people all lived on this one deck. Yikes. That's got to be ripe. I know. I'm like, I'm having a hard time with that tar snow. Yeah. It's leaking. Mm -hmm. Good port. That's the dinghy that went out. Found the rock. Two passengers, about 20 crew. That's how you have separate stuff. Yeah. 
a solid piece of wood. It must be the anchor. Anchor cables. Goats, pigs, and chickens. They had goats, pigs, and chickens. Oh, really? Pigs must have been. Ow. Is Smelly. it your head again? You ready to go up? Yeah. Is that the cold down there or they have supplies? Yes, so that's going to be all their non essential, not for the supplies. All your hand Much better up here. Thanks. That cabin there is the folks' forecastle. It's where the common crew would have been staying. At any given time, you probably have six or eight sailors resting in there at once while the other half is out working. I had an extension cord. <laughs> Welcome aboard, folks. Just watch your step, and we recommend starting over. <coughs> and they're going to get through with one or two hands, and it does have resistance. I, I have. Uh, spirit or not spirit. I have used it before, of course, before while well, Mama not sailing. Oh, and yeah, uh, it's actually relatively easy to steer around, but you do have to put a little bit of muscle into it because the block and tackle, they're bouncing yeah, in, yeah, and yeah, the actual yeah. rudder, the actual rudder, yep, that's heavy too. Who stayed uh, in here? Block and tackle, they act Was this like the governor? Place, so that you don't the governor just go stayed in here? Back. I don't know. So all these rubber bands. Yeah. Hmm. Is this the poop deck? No, no oh. this is a captain's quarters. <laughs> oh. uh, it's one of the above young men. They actually, well, they yeah, actually yes, the first mate. Yeah, oh, sir. Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess that was better than being down with all the people and the animals. <laughs> I, can you imagine? Huh? What was that captain's name? Standish? Miles Standish. Miles Standish. Miles Standish. Oh, no, wait. Yeah. That was the governor? No. I don't remember. Exactly. Uh, two points. No, I think he was the governor. Say, uh, go towards this angle and the north by northwest uh, uh, direction, and they'll be able to attack with that. So, if you're. They would still have the navigation stuff. I guess down here they have a. Oh, yeah, that's it. Freaking you up. Oh, you can? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know you could go up. Oh. I wonder if this was like the Pirates of the Caribbean. Man overboard. Yeah, this, is a, this is the place to be. It would be a skip that would be on yeah, the trail skip. over the hatchway. Oh, I said they had a skip, not a, not a dinghy. A skiff. Oh, skiff. It takes them 17 days to reassemble that boat. And in fact, there's a ship that's supposed to come to Plymouth Colony in 1622. that gets so badly bruised and beaten in the storm in the middle of the Atlantic, it took the skiff off. It also mm. removed this, this cabin entirely. Oh, wow. And a lot of the upper work, so they actually have to lash the, the person in charge to the vessel. And that ship's called Paragon, and it's owned by John Pierce, who's one of the investors. What was this? I don't know. It's like the command station. Looks like they actually uh, they actually take it out, huh? Yeah. Well, they sold it across. It sounds there's all these inspections. Yeah, they sailed it across the Atlantic. Oh, that was this one? Yeah. Wow. Everything that could go wrong. Hope they had better quarters. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, now we're going to get some blue sky. Put your raincoat on. That's the trek. So do you know if the, when the passengers were on, um, were they able to come up here and get fresh they air? They would never be up on this level because of the instructions and commands are all given from up here. So they'd really be in the way. What?
Hmm. More slippery. I've heard many um, reviews that you know you thought people were like used to smells and stinky smells. Yeah, I don't even though they were, it was still disgusting, right? Yeah, I mean, I mean they have a nose. Like, <laughs> I don't imagine poop they were still smelled used like to poop. It. Yeah, I bet they cleaned it off right away. They get it out of here, and I, how, I bet you people came up to the, get up some fresh air up here. Yeah, there's no way you can be on there for that long and just stay in your one area. Yeah, we can't even sit on an airplane without getting antsy. This way. Oh, oh that's an exit. Dang, that was quick. Yeah. Not a big ship. Yeah. They like to, they love to rub it into modern people's, oh, you couldn't take it. <laughs> well, they couldn't either. Half of them died. Just don't put that in there. Yeah. <laughs> Here it is. Another museum shop. See if they got anything cool. Watch your step. More books. Candles. Can they use this fireplace room? Oh. Hmm. Let's go in the next one. Oops, okay. Well, this must be the food over here. Some food. No cannons. Yeah, maybe over here. Um, let's see, what's this? Oh, there we go. There's a little one. Let's see it. Not as heavy. Hmm. If you want to push the rock, you can take it home. <laughs> There's your rock. Hello. You know, over there they had a fireplace. Did they ever use that? Or is that just decoration at yeah. the other building? Right. Decoration? No. That's all. no. Keep it toasty in the winter. <laughs> I want two. Really? Yeah. Why? Why They're different. Two? Those are different ones. Those are the sea ones. Okay. The boat ones. Why do you want it? I have one on each side. You don't need any more things. Yes, I do. You have enough dust collectors. I like dust collectors. See, look. I know, because you don't have the dust. See? me. Is that it? Is that what's in this box? I think so. These look the same to me. Yeah. Those don't look like that. Oh, these yeah. look different. Open no, these up. are different. Open it up. Um, you, I might get in trouble. Do it. This is different. Oh, it's a pencil sharpener. <laughs> Let me ask her where these are. Okay. Told you didn't need it. Where are these at? Uh, they're not anywhere. I think oh. that's the only one we got. Oh. Can you buy that one? You want that one? I don't think they're selling it. Oh. Maybe this one's much funner. Yep, I was like. This sticker was next to it. Is that, does that mean it's for sale? Oh, yeah, it's for sale. <laughs> if you want it. Hmm. Let me just see. That's the right. So, what did you think of the Plymouth Plantation? Plymouth Plantation, the grist mill, and the 
Mayflower. Mayflower. All very cool. It's a little... I think it's good for little kids. I definitely think... Yeah. So. Well, or like, there are people that are maybe homeschooled. But yeah, learning. yeah. Homeschool learning. Yeah, very okay. interesting. It's brief. Um, but if I you like, want, if you want to see more stuff, I think you have to go when they're having events. Yeah, yeah, go with events. It's, it's definitely an interesting experience seeing that the Indian huts and the town. The kind of stuff that they had to deal with. The you dirt ask, floors. Yeah, you could ask way more questions than we did. Seeing the gristmill working. I mean, that's all educational. It's all enlightening. Yeah. Seeing the Mayflower ship like that in real life. See, that's no. that's a plus. I mean, yeah, it was really neat. It's a good day. I mean, it's a it's a day. Yeah, because not only is all that stuff in a really beautiful area, like the downtown area, there's restaurants and there's tons of things to do in a day. You know, you get to do that, and not everything's in one place. You like you park at the at the pilgrims. Pilgrim place, and then you drive over to the grist mill, and then you do some walking. And it's really cool. Yeah, because there's all because there's each one is on it by its. You have to get the whole package, but yeah, because just one by itself. Uh, might might be worth it. All three together. But it's forty five dollars for an adult. Yeah. You can, but you can go. How did you get your discount? That's only if you're local. You go to your library and you go into museum passes and you get a discount. But that's for locals. If you're local, if you're not local, you have to pay the price, I guess, unless they have something. But it was cool, especially if you're into history and like learning stuff. They have a lot of guides there that I'm teaching you. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I liked it. It was, and they had a lot more interactive kind of stuff. I mean. It's not like they had a ride, but, you know, like the art museum, there was, there was a lot to see. And maybe we liked it better because it wasn't a really busy time. But I know when we've been there a long time ago, they had a whole lot more interacting kind of stuff. There was way more characters. So we probably just went on some event day that we don't remember. And there was a lot going on. So this one was a very slow day. But it was nice because you could go inside and see all the places and animals. They had real animals. That was cool. Yeah. And they looked healthy. So what are you thinking? For fun? Um, like a six and a half. Yeah. Six, six and, and a half, half out of ten cookies. Definitely worthwhile to do. Yeah. Um, we didn't go. You could if you... We left a little bit late, but if you wanted to, you can do all those three things. You can have a bite to eat, and then you can go up. They have like an old church building, and then behind the church building, they have stairs you go up into the graveyard, and they have a beautiful view, because we've been there once before. Remember, you get up there, and they have a beautiful view, and they have the, uh, the burial of like Miles Standish and all those, some of those people there. So we just ran out of time, but that's a that's cool. There's just lots of like outdoorsy kind of stuff. I don't know if I'd want to do it in the winter. It was freezing, but on nice days, it's definitely worth the go. It's beautiful, green. There's flowers everywhere. It was really cool. Mm. I enjoyed it. Yeah, that's a, it's a good fun day. Yeah, it could be a seven, but I'm gonna give it a six and a half because the the Plymouth Plantation was a little small. Not much. And any more buildings? Well, they're working on oh, it. We passed are, yeah. some areas where they're building more, more buildings. So mm -hmm. that'd be interesting to see. Yeah. And the, and the huts are all locked off for some reason. Not some of them. Not. Oh, you mean like the, the, the Indian, Indian village? Well, no. Yeah. The. Well, I'm thinking. I wonder if they only because I remember we went in. They didn't. I didn't even see it this time. But like, I went in one time. They had like that huge teepee. Remember? And there was like seats around the side, and they had yeah. a fire going in the middle. They didn't have that one there. I wonder what happened to it. Well, they burned down. Yeah. But there's, I mean, I'm sure that there's a lot of neat stuff to see. You have to go during different times. Different events. I think that's probably better. My bad. Don't even say that. 
You and electronics. Yeah, they're very bad. No, they're yours. Anyways, I would give it a six and a half out of ten cookies. Hmm. That's my thing. Definitely worth going. Very informative. Very cool to see what our forefathers. Yeah, what they did. What they had to suffer. Yeah, those dirt floors. Ooh. I know. Very annoyed walking on them. Not annoyed, but like There's getting a sand all over our shoes. Yeah. It was a dry day, sort of. Uh, oh well. It would be tough. Gives well, you an appreciation. But you know what? Hmm. Did they know better? Well, they did. They did. Yeah, it was a better home than England, I'm sure. Well, it was better than being on that ship. Yeah, the ship was cool. Yeah. I got the last metal cannon. By a fast cannon. Yes, because you need one more. I like cannons. Cool. All right. All right. Until the next treat or adventure. Until yeah. the next treat. <laughs>